traveling far from one's homeland, leaving their comforting homes and loved ones. Thousands of miles behind is never easy. And in their sense of duty, they go through these miles with laughter, for this is what they are trained for. Whenever and wherever in the world injustice and inhumanity prevails, Pakistan Army never falls short of soldiers and officers who are ready to lay their lives as the soldiers of global peace. Sacrificing your life for your own land is one thing, but sacrificing one's life for global peace and for the sake of humanity is larger than life. Pakistan joined the United Nations on 30th September 1947. Peacekeeping, as defined by United Nations, is a way to help countries torn by conflicts and create conditions for suitable and sustained peace. Such assistance comes in many forms, including confidence building measures, power sharing agreements, electoral support, strengthening the rule of law and economic and social development. Pakistan has contributed a lot in UN peacekeeping operations. Congo is roughly the size of Western Europe. It is blessed with gold, copper, timber and coltan. 1994 in Ravenna, a group of ethnic Hutu molasses inter Hamwai carried out a terrifying genocide against the country's ethnic Tutsi minority, killing 800,000 people in just 100 days. With the help of Ravenna and Uganda, Kabila takes control of the East Congo and plans to march Kinshasa. Eventually defeats dictator Mobutu along with killing Hutu and renamed the country Congo. In 2006, Joseph Kabila won the presidency in DRC's first democratic election in 40 years. As a result of um, the extensive history and difficulties here in um, South Kivu and the Democratic Republic of Congo, the international community deployed um, what is now the largest peacekeeping mission in the world. Security is very important and crucial. We cannot do anything for the development if there is no peace and security. So for any development in the country, we need security and peace. The solution is to establish good cooperation, such as military cooperation, that we have already experienced with Pakistan Army. They try to stabilize the country. MONUSCO, and in particular the um, Pakistani-led brigade, um, has provided the conditions for economic development to take place. If there is insecurity, which means there is no peace, we cannot achieve development. So that's, in very simple terms, one of the key reasons that we are here. South Kivu Brigade is operating in South Kivu province of DRC under the United Nations Security Council Resolution 2277. This uh, assigns us with the task of protection of civilians and humanitarian assistance, assisting government of DRC in their performance of their task and stabilization effort. Pakistani military, which of course is one of the greatest militaries in the world, is a very significant provider to the United Nations peacekeeping operations. It is one of the largest providers. And that is reflected here in the Democratic Republic of Congo in the uh, MONUSCO mission. Pakistan has deployed a brigade strength of troops led by Pakistani leadership. in terms of operating in an area that's been deeply affected by war and the country still carries the, the, the pain and the scars of war and it's always difficult to operate in those environments. But the Pakistani Brigade has lost, has lost soldiers 
and that is something that which we respect and of course I'd like to express condolences for that. Pakistani Labour Brigade has had success and has contributed significantly to the mandate of the United Nations which is one of keeping peace. Our biggest challenge is vastness of the area comprising of inhospitable terrain. Another distinct challenge is infiltration that is taking place due to existence of porous borders with Rwanda and Burundi and consequently the influx of 28,000 refugees that is present alone in South Kivu province. Now these three issues they are addressed through various activities that we conduct here. For example, aggressive patrolling, getting of information where the militias are gathering up or what they are planning, going proactively after them. We have been allotted additional area which was no-go area previously for UN troops. We are conducting major operation right now in that area against armed groups who are harassing local population and who are not letting the government of Congo establish the writ in that area. We get missions for medical evacuation, we get missions for casualty evacuation. And many a times we get missions to drop the soldiers or the ship the soldiers from one place to the other. Now once we are going for those missions, we are not sure about the ground situation, we are not sure whether that uh, heli landing site is suitable for the helicopter. So this puts a lot of burden on the pilots. Sanda refugee camp is the biggest refugee camp in Congo, which is housing around 25,000 refugees of neighboring countries. We carry out rehearsals, which is coordinated uh, rehearsals with Congolese police, with Congolese army, uh, in order to protect the refugee camp from armed groups, from foreign armed groups. The work of PNC, the police, is just to deal and manage the mob. Most of the times they are doing training with Pakistani soldiers to show them, in case of riots, how they can act, how they can neutralize the hostile mob. This is giving local people trust and they are trusting in MONESCO. And it's also pointing towards evil to give them the strong message. Tanganyika Lake, the world's largest natural lake, is a sight to be behold, but as they say, beauty comes with a curse. We make the control of an area of responsibility because there are also illegal trafficking of mineral, coal, and cassiterite and gold, and there are also infiltration from militias from Burundi and from Tanzania. And also there are armed groups and we need to take control of this problem. There were reports of uh, hostility on ground. Two groups of uh, civilians, they were about to fight with each other. Pakistan Army and Pakistan Army Aviation together we took this daunting task with smiling faces and we deployed those forces. During the deployment, we flew six hours with two refuelings, which has never ever been done earlier in the MONUSCO AOR. And the timely deployment, which was 30 minutes prior to the given time of the force commander, it averted a big disaster where protection of civilian was at risk. establishment of free medical camp and distribution of books and the various schools and all that stuff. This increases the understanding with the locals. As compared to any of other battalions that the, those who are here in UN Mission Congo, Pakistani battalions have remarkable understanding, remarkable value in front of the locals.
Fortunately, by the arrival of UNESCO, it helped the country to become peaceful. Pakistani contingent collaboration with local is very fruitful because through regular night and day patrol, local areas become peaceful. Apart from that, they intervene rivalry in the domain of education. They helped us in construction of eight classes and paving six others. Also leveling the ground, so now students are in better condition than before. If we are to consider the question of child soldiers, um, it is quite um, regular for Pakistani Led Brigade to have to address questions of child soldiers, perhaps through their community liaison efforts or because a community will, will inform them. And then of course they want to respond accordingly. Also through our um, civilian colleagues, we will follow protocols to make sure that those children are correctly handled in a safe and correct manner and they will be returned back to their communities uh, and sometimes to neighbouring countries as well, if required. The Pakistan soldiers are very professional. We work with a good collaboration, a good relationship, and we work as a team. The Pakistani troops are well trained and highly disciplined. We are really impressed. Based on the culture of the Pakistani military, um, it is a um, the, the, the troops that I see here are um, very professional, very experienced, um, very experienced uh, and very disciplined. And those really, we, we cannot ask for more in a peacekeeping context. The Pakistan Army has uh, accrued an outstanding repute uh, while being in UN Mission Congo. I must say that it is solely the professional approach of uh, handling any of the situations given by our senior hierarchies. Pakistan Army, an asset in pride that always upholds the prestige of its motherland and brings respect to the green and white flag all around the globe, for its men are those who dare.